Are you looking for a fun and efficient way to learn Spanish? Today I'm gonna teach you how you can improve your vocabulary expressions and pronunciation while using Rosalia songs. My daily Spanish. Rosalia is one of Spain's most well-known and influential musical artists. She is from Barcelona and she has collaborated with artists like The Weeknd, Bad Bunny, Billie Eilish, J Balvin and Travis Scott among others. We will use her best songs to improve your Spanish. Let's review some of the lyrics together and I will give you some great tips to maximize your learning with music. I am Lucia, a native Spanish speaker from Sevilla in the south of Spain and I teach Spanish at my daily Spanish. Let's go! Y ando despecha, aloca. I am scorned, crazy. Despecha is a shortened form of despechada. Despechado for men, despechada for women. We use despecha or despechada when we have some sad or angry feeling because we have been rejected. I would use that if some guy has dumped me or I have been fired from a job, for example. Y ando despecha. Y means end. Ando is from the verb andar, to walk. And here it doesn't mean that you are walking. It means that these days you are like that. Y ando despecha. These days I am scorned. Uf, tía, ando liada. Oh, girl, these days I'm busy. Ando bastante triste. These days I am super sad. To give you some examples. Aloca is the shortened form of alocada. It will be alocado or alocao for men and alocada or aloca for women. That means crazy. The most common way to say crazy is loca or loco. I'm sure you've heard that. Loco and loca mean crazy and alocado or alocada means like you're crazy -ish. like behaving in a little crazy way. Estos niños están alocados. These kids are behaving like crazy. Y ando despechaba, aloca. Solo esta noche soy tuya, tuya. Solo esta noche soy tuya. Only tonight I am yours. Solo means only. Be careful because you can get confused with solo or sola, which is an adjective that means alone. Esta noche. Esta des noche night. Tonight. Soy, I am, from the verb ser, yo soy. Solo esta noche soy tuya. Yours. Solo esta noche soy tuya. Only tonight I am yours. Solo esta noche soy tuya, tuya. Great tip. Sing along and record yourself so you can compare your pronunciation. That way you can correct it. Es mala amante la fama y no va a quererme de verdad. Es mala amante la fama y no va a quererte de verdad. Fame is a bad lover and it will not really love you. First sentence. Es mala amante la fama. Here the structure is reversed. Naturally, we will say la fama es mala amante. First the subject, then the verb, and then the objects. But in songs and poetry, we can change everything, you know? Even some people can talk like that. When we hear that, it's not weird at all. Es mala amante la fama. La fama, the fame. La is the article, the fama, fame. Es mala amante. Es is the verb from the verb ser, to be, in third person singular. <laughs> you know, in Spanish, I'm sorry, but each subject has a different conjugation. You'll get used to it when you hear a lot of Spanish. Es, is, mala, bad, female, amante, lover. Es mala amante la fama. La fama es mala amante. Fame is a bad lover. Y no va a quererte de verdad. Y is and. No means no. Va a quererte. This is a verb locution. It is an expression that we use to make the action in the future. Ir a plus infinitive. Va a quererte. Va is the third person singular of the verb ir, to go. But here it doesn't mean to go. We could say it in the normal future form, which would be Y no te querrá de verdad. But no va a quererte sounds more natural. Querer is the infinitive form of the verb to love. Querer. Querer might mean want or love. Querer te. That te is referring to you. Querer te. Love you. If it will be me, love me. Quererme. De verdad. Like truly or really in reality. Es mala amante la fama y no va a quererte de verdad. Fame is a bad lover and it will not really love you. Es mala amante la fama y no va a quererte de verdad. Chica, ¿qué dices? Chica, ¿qué dices? Girl, what are you saying? Chica means girl. 
chico would mean boy. So, chica, girl. ¿Qué dices? What do you say? What are you saying? ¿Qué means what? Be careful because ¿qué with tilde means what? But ¿qué without tilde? That means that. And we use that for subordinates. But here with tilde, what? Dices, you say. This is the present tense of the verb decir. But dices, tú, you say. In Spanish, we usually omit the pronouns. Chica, ¿qué dices? Girl, what are you saying? This is super informal. Like, this is to your friends, like, ¿qué dices? Or somebody you don't like, like, ¿qué dices? Literally, ¿qué dices? is, what do you say? But the feeling here is more, what are you saying? Literally, what are you saying would be, ¿qué estás diciendo? ¿Qué estás diciendo? You can also say that, like, ¿qué estás diciendo? ¿Qué dices? Chica, ¿qué dice? No Lo vas a olvidar. You will forget it. Here we have also this phrasal verb ir a plus infinitive to refer to the future. Lo here is the direct object particle, but it's referring to it. Vas a olvidar cerrar la puerta. You will forget to close the door. Vas a olvidarlo. Lo vas a olvidar. Lo is referring to something. Vas a olvidar mm, llamar a tu madre. You will forget calling your mom. Lo vas a olvidar. Vas a olvidarlo. It means the same. You can put lo at the beginning or at the end. Lo vas a olvidar. Here the subject is tú, you, but we omit it. Vas a olvidar. Vas from the verb ir to go, but here it doesn't mean to go. Vas is second person singular for you. Vas a olvidar. Olvidar is the infinitive form of the verb olvidar, to forget. So lo vas a olvidar, you will forget it. Lo vas a olvidar. Okay, you let it go. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Gracias. Juro que el tiempo que tú estés dentro, yo te esperaré. I swear that as long as you are inside, I will wait for you. This is referring to prison, to jail. Rosalia here is singing to her man who is in jail. Juro. Jurar means to swear. Te lo juro. I swear to you. Juro, first person singular, because the subject is me, yo. Yo juro, I swear, que el tiempo, que, that, el tiempo, the time. And here comes a subordinate. Que tú estés dentro, the time, that, you are inside. Que, that, tú, you, estés. This is subjunctive. We use this a lot with subordinates. Estés is present form for second person singular. That means the subject is you, but in the subjunctive mode. It is not that important, but you need to know this is subjunctive. Estés dentro, dentro, inside. Juro que el tiempo que tú estés dentro, I swear that the time that you are inside, yo te esperaré. Yo, I, Te for you, I do the action for you. Esperaré, future simple. First person singular, because it's me who is doing the action. I will wait for you. Te esperaré. You can also say, esperaré por ti. I will wait for you. This is more literal with English. But te esperaré. Esperaré por ti is the same. Juro que el tiempo que tú estés dentro, yo te esperaré. I swear that the time that you are inside, yo te esperaré. I will wait for you. Juro que, juro que, juro que, juro que el tiempo que tú estés dentro, yo te esperaré. El tiempo que tú estés dentro, yo te esperaré. Flores azules y quilate, y si es mentira que me mate. Flores azules y quilates, y si es mentira que me maten. Blue flowers and carrots, and if it's a lie, they can kill me. Okay, first part. Flores azules. Azules is blue, adjective in the plural form because it goes with flowers. Flores, which is plural. So, flores azules. Blue flowers. Y, and, quilates. Carrots. Y si es mentira, and if it's a lie. Y, and, si, if. Es, is. The third person singular of the verb ser, to be. The present. Mentira. Lie. Y si es mentira, and if it's a lie, que me maten. They can kill me. Que means that. Me, to me, maten. They kill. 
In the subjunctive mood, the present for they, third person plural, they. Literally, this is that they kill me. If this is a lie, they can kill me. Come kill me. Because I'm saying the truth. You can hear this format like a lot. Si no, mm -mm -mm, que mm -mm -mm. Si esto no es verdad, que venga mi abuela y lo diga. If this is not true, my grandma can come and say it. Si mañana no es lunes, que venga el presidente y me lo diga. If tomorrow is not Monday, the president can come and tell me. Flores azules y quilates, y si es mentira, que me maten. Blue flowers and carrots, and if it's a lie, they can kill me. Flores azules y quilates, y si es mentira, que me maten. Ni un amigo nuevo ni una herida. Ni un amigo nuevo ni una herida. Herida is like a shortened form for herida. Herida is what you will usually hear. Ni esto ni lo otro. Not this nor the other thing. Ni, ni, not, not. Ni un, not a, one. Amigo, friend. Amigo for men, amiga for women. Nuevo, new. If it was referring to a female friend, it would be ni una amiga nueva. Ni un amigo nuevo. Not even a single new friend. Ni una herida. Ni, not, una, one, a, herida, wound. La herida, the wound. Una herida, a wound, one wound. Ni un amigo nuevo, ni una herida. Not even a new friend, not a single wound. Ni un amigo nuevo, ni una herida. Porque la noche, la noche fue algo que yo no puedo explicar. Porque la noche de anoche fue algo que yo no puedo explicar. Because last night was something I can't explain. Porque la noche de anoche. Porque. Because. If it goes together, porque, it's because. If it goes separated and with an accent, with a tilde, it means why. Por qué? Why? Porque, because. Porque la noche, the night, de anoche, from last night, de is a preposition that means of, from, it depends. Anoche. Last night. De anoche. From last night. Porque la noche de anoche. Because the night from last night. Simplifying. Because last night. Fue. Was. From the verb to be. Ser. Algo. Something. Algo que yo no puedo explicar. Que. That. Yo. I. No puedo. I can't. Puedo is from the verb poder, in the present tense for I, first person singular. Poder means to be able to. So, no puedo, I am not able to, I can't. Explicar, explain. This is the infinitive form. Explicar, to explain. Algo que yo no puedo explicar. Something I can't explain. Porque la noche de anoche fue algo que yo no puedo explicar. Because last night was something I cannot explain. Porque la noche, la noche fue algo que yo no puedo explicar. Malamente. Así sí, malamente. Tra, tra. Malamente. Muy mal. Badly. Very bad. First thing, malamente is incorrect in Spanish. But many people, usually from lower classes, use it. People here use it to the point that it will be accepted in the dictionary soon, I guess. But malamente means the same as mal, bad, like badly, in a bad way. To transform words into adverbs, we add mente. Adjective plus mente means in a mm way, in an adjective way. So you will hear that a lot. Claramente, in a clear way, clearly. Estupendamente, like fantastically. Cruelmente, in a cruel way. So malamente will be in a bad way, but for that we already have mal, mu mal. Mu is the shortened version of muy, so muy mal, very bad. Muy is very mal, bad. Malamente. Que yo. Tra, tra. To improve your Spanish fast, I really recommend that each week you choose a Spanish song, translate it or watch the translation and sing it a few times. Then each day listen to it at least once, so you will remember the new vocabulary and expressions you learned. I also recommend that you have a list of Spanish songs on your music platform. While listening to Spanish music, you will get used to hearing Spanish and get the vibe, and you will also review the words you already know. 
I created a Spotify playlist just for you full of nice Spanish songs, so have a look at the description to access it. What's your favorite Spanish song? Tell me in the comments. My daily Spanish.